everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your tarot card of the day for February 22nd, 2020. This is for all zodiac signs. It's not for any one specific zodiac sign. Please keep in mind that this is a general, so this may or may not resonate. All right, guys, also for those of you that want to know why I don't do um, individual readings, I do individual readings. Um, I do weeklies, monthlies, mid-monthlies. I do X's and O's and singles, and also many bonuses, individual signs. You simply have to scroll down the channel, jamiezebra23.com. Also, guys, if you place an order and you've not heard from me within an hour, um, you place an $8 one question, one answer via email only. In order for that, I typically answer in 20 minutes. Please feel free to email me to let me know if you've ordered a same-day reading and you've not heard from me within an hour, let me know because I try to schedule you guys as soon as possible. Um, also, if you guys have ordered a product, please let me know so that I can hurry up and um, confirm your shipping address and I can ship that order out either the same day or the very next day. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on for the collective for February 21st, 2019. For, or I'm sorry, for the 22nd, February 22nd, 2020, for the collective. Happy birthday to Richard Franklin out there. Uh, he was, he's a Pisces. He's, he was my first boyfriend. I, I always remember his birthday. It's weird. <laughs> Happy birthday, Richard Franklin, guys. Pray for him. He's in jail again. He's in prison again. I think this time for theft. Poor guy. He had a hard upbringing. But anyway, for the collective, for February 22nd, 2020, what do they need to know? You've got the three of cups, so there's going to be celebrating feasting going on. Okay, the four of wands. Some of you are closing on a house. Some of you bought a house. Some of you are moving into a new home. Or, you're, or you got um, confirmation that you're moving in in, um, in March of 2020. Okay. Maybe a March 1st move in. So that's in a few days. We also got the page of coins. Money's looking good. Some of you got a new job as well. Knight of, the Knight of wands. Yeah, somebody's moving, changing residence because of a new job, a new move. Ten of pentacles, possibly inheritance or some winnings. So if you, some of you went to the casino, maybe you guys won some money. Let's see what else. Okay, some of you will be hearing from a, um, a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo about a move. They maybe want to move in with you, or they want you to move in with them, or they they have a home for both of you. Um, I feel like this is somebody, for some of you, this is somebody that you're already with, and maybe they were promising these things, and you never thought it would happen, but now, like, they're showing, look, see, I told you. Maybe some of you didn't have faith in this person. Maybe in the recent past, some of you were actually homeless, fighting, struggling in a big way. But now you're now everything's fine. Yeah, five, five, five. You got the five of coins, the five of wands, and then the five of swords. Let me see what's coming after that. It shows a conquering. And then and then you got the six of wands. So you conquered all that. That's all done. Some of you are reflecting back to this, to the to this. You didn't know why this happened. For some of you, it was karma, maybe. Because, guys, if you get with somebody who's got a bunch of karmic lessons that they have to learn or they got bad karma, the universe isn't going to be like, oh, since you entered their life, we'll just skip their, their, um, their paying their karmic debt. We'll just skip that, and we'll just let you two ride off into the sunset happily ever after. That's not how karma works. 
Um, what's that saying? Karma, karma never loses an address. So yeah. So if somebody, if karma is supposed to be delivered on, you know, to a person, whether it's good karma or bad karma, it's getting delivered. But let's say you're with somebody who's got bad karma. You're with them. The universe isn't going to deliver good karma to you because they know it's going to go to the person who's got bad karma. So they'll just, they'll just sit back and wait to give you your good karma. They'll just wait until you're done or you realize what's going on and you let that person go or until the person pays off their, their karmic debt. Um, so for some of you, there's a reward here. Also for, you know, for some of you, there's a reward here because of, you know, you, you're owed all of these good things. But I also feel like for some of you with this stuff here, maybe it's a warning. If you had all this, when you got with somebody and now you're with them and now you have all this, five of coins, five of wands, five of, so this is homelessness, being broke. This is conflict and fighting with everybody. This is the five of swords, just losing things left and right, complete and total loss. But then it's showing here the six of wands. So maybe some of you are coming to a realization about somebody and that's why you didn't get this. I mean, that's why you didn't have this. Maybe some of you decided to not deal with somebody or pass a life lesson, pass a karmic test, pass something, and now you're skipping over this. So for some of you, this is what the outcome will be if you don't get it together or if you make the wrong choices. For others of you, you made the right choice. You decided to ditch a negative person and you got this now. Also, the five of coins also talks about mistresses, third parties, cheaters, stuff like that. So maybe some of you didn't engage in a situation with like a married person or with somebody who was in a relationship with someone. Maybe you chose to not be the side dude or you chose not to be the side chick. And because you chose that, now you're going to be victorious. The universe is blessing you. They're blessing you with a new beginning. And then we have the, the six of coins also blessing you with, with balanced scales of karma. So that's a six and that's a six, okay? So that's destiny. You're destined to have good things. You're destined to have a good life. Okay, money's coming in. Money's flowing. Money's coming in. You got good news. So like, let's say for those of you in the recent past, maybe there was a jobs or lots of jobs that were slamming the door in, their, in your face or it seemed like you were never, like nobody was ever telling you, okay, you got the job or you got the place. You just weren't getting, okay, now we got the six of cups. Okay, um... You just were never getting any good news. You were always getting bad news about another door being slammed. And you're like, yeah, what else is new? I never get anything anyway. So I feel like for some of you, you were kind of feeling like, um, like what's the point? You know, why even try anymore? The But because you kept trying, the universe is now giving you everything that you were supposed to have already. So with the six of wands, six of coins, and now the, oh no, this is not the six of cups. This is the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. That's not the six of cups, that's a nine. Okay, yeah, so that's wish fulfillment. So I feel like, yeah, the universe, now the, the scales are balanced and you guys are getting something. Let me see what else. What else for the tarot card of the day for February? The Knight of Swords charging in quickly. Somebody who's not wasting any time at all. Three of coins. Yeah, some of you are, are in your life purpose. Um, some of you maybe work in construction. Some of you maybe work offshore. Some of you might work... Um, Remote. Some of you, um, you just you're just gonna have freedom. You're gonna have freedom to like creative creative freedom. Maybe some of you are making plans to build a home. You're like actually drawing up the plans, and then you got justice. Maybe some of you are doing um, construction on a home. Maybe a renovations on your home. Maybe you inherited a home and now you've got to gut it and build it from the ground up. Um, for some of you. For some of you, you're going to be working on the road. Jobs that work on the road. You didn't have this before. Yeah, public. Public. A uh, haughtiness. Somebody, justice with the haughtiness. Okay, so for some of you, maybe somebody was mad because they feel like you, you shine, you glitter. Maybe some of you, uh, somebody tried to steal your shine or try to dim your shine. So you may have gotten in, in romantic relationships with people who were like, oh no, I'd like you better if you... You know, you looked more natural or they they were force feeding you so you gained weight or they, you know, they were in sweats so they wanted you to wear sweats. Whoever did this, I feel like you guys are, are like coming out of the shadows. It's, you're, you're breaking out of your cocoon and you're about to be a butterfly. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're about to have your little glow up here. Um, things are changing for the better. Also, I feel like for some of you, um, this is straight karma. 
I just see karma and fortune, like good karma, fortune. I see somebody feeling like they chose wrong. I feel like some of you have everything and then the person who ended it with you or thought that they were better than you, now they have nothing. Literally nothing and no way to get it. They are up the creek without a paddle. I'm also getting immigration stuff. So if somebody's immigration papers aren't working out, somebody got arrested, somebody got DWI, somebody got like a lot of trouble going on. Maybe they were trying to um, appeal a case and it didn't work. So now they have to just accept whatever it is. I also feel like for some of you, um, if somebody in the past was trying, was, was actually working towards your demise, not just wishing for your demise, because you, you guys do know that just wishing for someone's demise is automatic bad karma for you. So like, let's say for example, I'm just like looking at somebody and I'm just like, yeah, I, I hope they fail and they never get anything they want. If I did something like that, that would be bad karma being put on me. Everything that I wanted for someone else is gonna happen for me. So let's say I only want good things for someone else. That's like a form of Reiki in itself. You know, when you send Reiki to heal people, you heal yourself as well while you're sending the Reiki. <laughs> it, so it, it's, <laughs> so the more people you help, the more peop, the more it helps you. So, um, but of course it should be from the heart and not, not be for, you know, oh yeah, me, me, me. It shouldn't be like that. But whatever people were putting out there, that's what they received back. So if they were wishing for your demise... Or if they were like, oh, you'll never be successful or you're never going to have anything or you're never going to have good luck. They just threw bad luck on themselves. So whoever this person, this could have been five or six years. I keep getting five and six, five and six. So this could have been happening like five or six years ago. This could have been happening um, between like as far back as six years ago to now. So this could have been in the like really, really far distant past or this could have been in the recent past. This could have been in June, this could have been in, um, in April, this could have been five months ago, six months ago, this could be six days ago, six weeks ago, June, May. Yeah, whatever this was, for some, I'm, I don't know why they're circling September. I keep getting September's being circled, the month of September. So this may, somebody may have tried to spiritually attack you, try to have, sabotage your job, maybe they did sabotage your job. Whatever they did to you, they got it back. So as you're growing and things are getting better and better and better and better, you're looking around like, whoa, all these people around me, they got all this fucked up shit going on. What the hell happened here? Yeah, so if somebody did like a spiritual attack on you, the, the universe is coming to collect that karma. And I know you guys hate when I talk about karma and hate when I talk about people getting what they deserve, but I mean, I'm not in charge of karma. I don't decide who gets their karma, their good karma or their bad karma. The universe does, you know, cause and effect just is it's universal law. That was universal law was in effect long before I was born and will be in effect long after I am gone. So that's not up to us. So we can hope that people don't get their karma, but I mean, why would you? Wouldn't you want them to be free from, from whatever it is? So the sooner they pay their debt, the sooner they learn their lesson and then they can start over. So I kind of hope everybody gets their karma as soon as possible, whether it's good karma or bad, so they can move on, right? They can be free. Okay. All right, guys. So jamiezebra23.com. That was your um, tarot card of the day for February 22nd, 2020. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have um, a 10 minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. It's, um, it's something different, something that'll be on the website every day from now on, on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, I do have the reading special going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. You might wanna take advantage of that. All right guys, like, share, subscribe, and comment jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.